The Seven Sisters Generating Station started construction in 1929 and at that time the environmental regulations were very different from what they are today. Today there's much more consideration for fish and the environment. When Seven Sisters was constructed, basically the, the spillway discharge channel had a drainage issue. There's isolated pools in the spillway discharge channel that are left behind and can uh, result in fish stranding. If you take kiosk for example, it was a consideration right from the planning stages. So we're doing business very differently from an environmental perspective than we used to. To fix that drainage problem, we are excavating trenches from those isolated pools to the river. What do you mean by excavating? We're blowing stuff up. <laughs> <laughs> As the spillway discharge channel dewaters, those pools will dewater as well. Those pools will not exist anymore after this project. It came to the attention of the Environmental Licensing and Protection Department in 2015. Uh, so since we found out in 2015, we've been taking a number of steps to try to mitigate that. We've made it part of our procedure to salvage the fish after a spill event. So we go out on the spillway, look to see if there's any fish stranded and move them back to the river. This isn't always possible because there are safety concerns, like when the weather's cold and it's icy, or even in the summer there's algae that makes it treacherous uh, out here. This project is really important as a long-term solution. The fish salvage is what we've been doing in the meantime, but this will provide a long-term solution that will prevent fish from becoming stranded in the first place.